Before I show you how to save to a hard drive, let's talk about why you would save to a hard drive or why you would save to your computer. So think about it this way. There's two, really two decisions. It's really the number of tapes you have and then whether or not you use compression or you don't use compression. So first off, we do recommend that you use compression. You almost can't tell the difference between a compressed import and an uncompressed import. Uh, but a compressed tape takes up about uh, 1.3 gigabytes per tape, okay? So if you've got 20 tapes, you've got about 25 gigs saved. So think about that in your saving process. If you are going to import uncompressed, the size of that file is 10 times that. So a tape can be up to 13 gigabytes. So again, if you import 20 tapes, let's do that math. That's about 260 uh, gigabytes of storage. So if you do one compressed and you have 10 or more tapes, definitely save them to a hard drive. If you have 10 tapes uh, and you're gonna do uncompressed, you could save it on your computer, but just think about the size. Let me show you how to import all of your videos directly to a hard drive. Just so you know, LifeFlix by default saves all of the videos to your computer. Uh, they save them in the home and movies folder and inside of the movies folder we create another folder called LifeFlix and inside of the LifeFlix folder that is where all of your tapes and all of your scenes are stored. That's by default. Okay, I'm going to show you how to redirect that saving path to a hard drive. So before you import a tape you go into LifeFlix DV Importer, okay, and change video folders. You hit choose, and then you go find your hard drive. One note about your external hard drive, make sure that it is connected with a USB or a Firewire cable. Uh, the saving process or the capture process is not fast enough to go over uh, Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi connected hard drive. Uh, we're actually working on uh, fixing that, but that's the way that is right now. Uh, so now I'm going to find my hard drive, and all I'm going to do is click it, and I'm going to say choose, and you see it actually resets the path to little backup life flicks. And I just say OK. And now when I import all of my tapes, they're actually going to be dropped into my hard drive. So you can see I'm in my hard drive, and if I click on the life flicks folder, tapes. You can see all the different tapes I have. Lots of them. Okay, that's it. One more quick note. If you want to go back to defaults, again, go to LifeFlix DV Importer menu. Choose video... what was that called? Sorry. Video... Uh, change video folders. And you can just click reset to default. Okay, hope that helps.